You know when you're buying medicine, sometimes toiletries, and other things like that, and you find those annoying little seals? Some of you might know why these exist, some might not. In 1982, a 12-year-old Mary Kellerman took some extra strength Tylenol and died not long afterwards. Adam Janis, their brother Stanley, and sister-in-law Teresa all died after taking some Tylenol capsules. Not long afterwards, Mary McFarland, Paula Prince, and Mary Reiner all died after taking the same brand capsules. All were from within the Chicago metropolitan area. Tests on the bottles the capsules revealed an alarming fact. The capsules had been dosed with potassium cyanide. Police were quickly able to rule out manufacturers as a source. They weren't being tampered with there. They theorized that the source was from the shops and drug stores themselves. They suspected that somebody had procured the capsules, added the cyanide to each, and then resealed and methodically replaced the containers back on the store shelves. The mildly disturbing fact? The police don't know who did it, but no direct ties were ever found. Nobody has been held directly accountable for this crime. Alongside the bottles they know were responsible for the deaths. Authorities found three additional bottles that had been contaminated. I just find it so disturbing that someone can commit such a heinous crime and still be walking around like a normal person. The fact that the capsules could be open, tampered with and resealed led to the abolition of pellet-filled capsules as a medication mode. Next time you buy any medication, make sure the seal is there and never consume anything with a broken seal as it is never worth the risk. Did you ever buy anything from a store with a broken seal? Let us know in the comment section below and as always, do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to stay tuned to all our future mind-blowing videos. See you in the next one.